Hey guys, and welcome to my lesson for Shade by Silverchair. I've been getting some people asking if I could redo this one. Um, I did a, a lesson years ago on an old channel where there was no talking. This will be the opposite of that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'd always meant to redo it because the, the solo part of the lesson was really weak. Um, but anyway. Let's get started. Your guitar needs to be in standard tuning. And then we'll start with the uh, first section. Alright, so the first part of the song is going to start on this D minor power chord here. So you're going to bar the 5th fret at the uh, from the A string down. Uh, on the 7th fret, you're going to cover the uh, D and G strings. And on the 6th fret, you're going to cover the B string. So you would, uh, this will sort of be like a downstroke with an upstroke, like so, and then mute it. Um, I tend to mute it with my palm and by lifting off my fingers, so that's the first part. Then you're going to slide down to a C add 9 chord, which is, um, it's kind of like a G chord, but your bottom two fingers are going to go up a string, so it'll be <clears throat> third fret A string, second fret D string, and then third fret on the B and high E. And then the next chord will be, um, I don't remember what it's called, but uh, the easiest way I find to do it is to keep your pinky finger anchored on the third fret of the high E. And then you're going to put your first finger down on the first fret of the B string and your middle finger down on the second fret of the D string. And for the next chord, you keep your first finger anchored on the first fret, put your middle finger down on the second fret of the G string. Third fret or third finger down on the third fret of the D string and strum from the A down. I think that's an F major seven or some something like that. Anyway. Uh, so we strum that and then slide that up two frets for the last chord. And then repeat. Sort of. So anyway. But anyway, those are the five chords. So uh, this is sort of how it's played, at least the first time through, slowly. Now, on uh, subsequent times through that cycle, it tends to uh, just bar the fifth fret uh, when you start it again, and hammer on the rest of the chord. So. Also, you could arpeggiate the top strings. Kind of like that. And the rest continues. And on the last repeat, you'll do... for a second and then you're gonna go uh, you keep that grip go a string D string back to the a string third fret of the a string and then the verse riff starts which we'll get to next okay so the verse riff starts out the same way with the same chords for the first part of it anyway but when you get here um, you're going to go to a B flat power chord, which is first fret A string, second fret D, or third fret D and G strings, like that, and then a G chord. So it'll be um, third fret high E, B, and low E strings, and uh, mute the A string with your uh, middle finger. And then 
that's the verse riff, so you repeat that. And so on. Okay, so on the last repeat of the verse riff, um, it's almost like... Uh, It's the same as the uh, intro. You hold this chord, and and then we get into the chorus riff, which is next. So once again, the chorus riff starts on the same chord. Only this time, you're going to go to an F chord. So you bar the first fret with your first finger, uh, third fret A and D strings with these two fingers, and the middle finger will go to the second fret G string. So D minor to F, then to the C add 9, to the G. And then there's a little run up, which will go uh, 3 hammer on to 5 on the low E and then three slide to five on the A, so that you're back in position for the D minor. So, and then that riff cycles. So here it is slowly. Now at the end of the chorus, it will stop on a different chord, so you'll go. to the D minor for the next uh, verse. So there's another verse, another chorus, and then the second time when it ends here, you, uh, the rhythm guitar will play the chorus riff, and the second guitar will handle the guitar solo. So we'll get to the solo next. Okay, so hopefully I'll explain this better this time. But uh, the solo starts on the, uh, on the G string, 10th fret, so 10 hammer on to 12, uh, 10 on the G, and then back to 12 on the D, so like so. And then 10 hammer on to 12 on the A string, and 10 on the D. Then 10 hammer on to 12 on the low E, and back to 10, so. So that whole section played together. So the next part goes um, 13 on the low E and 12 12 on the uh, A and D strings. Slide down. Then you're just going to pick uh, any point on the bottom half of the guitar. Slide up to 12 on the A string. And then 10 on the D. Then you're going to go uh, 10 hammer on to 12 and 10, or 10 hammer on to 12 on the D and 10 on the G. Uh, 12 pull off to 10 and then 12 on the A. And then back to 10 on the D. to <clears throat> 10 on the G, slide to 9, and then slide to 7. Then you're going to go uh, 7, slide to 9, and then 10. 9, 10, slide up to 12, and then back to 10. 10 hammer on to 12 on the D, 10 on the 10 on the G, back to 12 on the D, and then 10 hammer on to 12, and uh, 10 on the D, 10 hammer on to 12, and then uh, 10, 11, 10 on the B, 
12, 10, slide down to 9, and then 9 to 10, 12, and then 10 hammer on a 12, and then 10 on the D, uh, 10 hammer on to 12 on the A, and then ends on 10 on the D. Now, um, hopefully I explained that way better. Um, I'm going to play the whole thing through slowly, so hopefully uh, it'll all make sense. After that, you're going to go back to D minor and sort of arpeggiate it a bit, um, and by that I mean just hit the lowest two strings in the chord, and then upstroke the rest of the chord, and then to the C add 9, let it ring out, then you're going to go um, uh, the 3 on the A, open uh, open D, or sorry, 3 on the A, uh, 2 on the D, and then open A, back to 3 on the A, and then D minor again, C so add 9, then you're going to start uh, getting a little more intense, so C add 9 to G, Three, five, three, slide to five, and then that will lead back into the chorus riff. And you're gonna play that until eventually it sort of dissolves into uh, distortion. So it'll still be played the same way. Conversely, uh, if you have way more distortion than this, um, you could probably just use power chords. So that would be, um, for the D minor, uh, just uh, bar the 5 on the low 2 strings, and then 7 on uh, the D and G strings. Then just play the F chord as 1, 3, and 3. And then C as uh, 3, 5, and 5, starting on the A string. And then G, 3, 5, and 5, starting on the low E. So once again, you could just do this. And the song will end on uh, the D minor. So anyway guys, um, I hope that was a bit more of a comprehensive lesson about shade and I hope this uh, satisfies everybody that wanted me to redo it. I hope it's a little more clear uh, this time around. So thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll see you next time.